Welcome into Schick Stadium here at Hillcrest High School for this edition of Deseret News Rewind presented by Intermountain Tosh. We've got the Region 2 Championship in Girls Soccer coming up for you here next to the Hunter Wolverines coming over to take on the Hillcrest Huskies. Thank you for joining us everyone. Dane Stewart here to bring you today's match. And we mentioned the Region 2 Championship on the line. Hunter coming in here 7-0 in region play. They defeated these very Huskies 2-1 in overtime earlier this year for Hunter. Well, it's been a good year. Couple players worth keeping an eye on today. Number 10, Lucky Fonharoth has been fantastic for them. One of the leading scorers, as has Whitney Blanchard. Blanchard had the game winner in overtime for the Wolverines in that first match. Meanwhile, the Hillcrest Huskies, hey, they uh, have had a fine year themselves. They come into this match five and one, needing a uh, win today over Hunter to force a potential co-region championship. Hillcrest has one more match coming up later this week, but it, uh, it's been a strong year for Coach Peary and her Hillcrest Huskies. Annika Scherslicht, watch out for her. The junior leads them in scoring. Morgan Miller has been good as well for Hillcrest as Miller had the lone goal for the Huskies in that first match between the Wolverines and the Huskies is Hillcrest wearing their black uni senior day here today at Hillcrest, playing under the lights as Hunter wearing the whites. This ball possessed by Blanchard and then played out by the defense of Hillcrest. A lot of things we can talk about in this game will start off not common for the girls team to play here in the football stadium. Right now the girls field actually being redone Got a nice uh, dirt mound to the south of us. Of course, all of Hillcrest being rebuilt under the last bond that passed. You can see the footings for the new gym off to the northwest as we've got a foul here. There's a free kick here for the Wolverines. This ball sent on frame and handled. A nice job there by Lubavs. I thought she was... I actually thought Claire Quick was going to get the start today, but it is Lou Bobs. At least according to the uniform number. Nice move put on there by Morgan Miller. She plays ahead. Can Clark work around the defense and a whistle here, the foul on Clark. That ball a little off target. Again, sent ahead. High bounce trying to shield for Lou Bobs as she's a to handle that cleanly. Just a couple minutes into our first half here. Ball headed back, here's Navarro playing near side with Tapia. Tapia tried to send the ball ahead, broken up defensively. I think it was Kate Timmerman, the junior. They're able to clear as Mayorga plays it back to her defense with Emma Taylor. Going to have a nice challenge there. And good work here by Sher Slick. To Sher Slick coming up the near side. Tries to play to the middle. Boy, nearly had a chance. Watson Bucci, Bucci nearly had an opportunity to get a shot, but Hunter was able to defense it. As Navarro able to put a nice move on. Some space for Navarro looking ahead now with Blanchard. Talk about Hunter. First region championship in program history coming here in 2018. Mentioned it could be a co-region championship. Coach Solberg and his team, they want, well, they're not very good. Uh, they're, they're selfish. They don't want to share that region title. Told me very specifically before the match, we don't want to share. We want it outright. Any points today would do it as this ball played out wide by Hillcrest. This ball thrown in, headed back by the Huskies. Romero plays back over with Taylor. Nice possession here by Hunter in the early going. I want to clarify, Coach Solberg was very generous before the game. I don't want anyone to get the wrong impression by my comment there. Is this ball sent up ahead by Tapia? Slam a Catron escorts this out. In our fifth minute, no score here from Hillcrest High School. 
As Miller plays to the middle. Here's Grammon. Has a teammate wide. Lots of space on that far side. Played back with Watson Bucci and Hunter able to come away with it. But Fonharoth had that one taken away. Just a touch behind Scherzlick, but she's able to regather. Being pushed off there by Navarro, and there's the whistle and the foul. So it'll be Anna Wright from 50 yards out to take this kick for Hillcrest. That ball to Scherzlick. Couldn't get a shot, plays it back with Soriano. And then a foul here on the challenge from Fonaroth. It'll be Anna Wright again, this time from 33 yards out. Wright trying on frame just over the crossbar. There's Fonaroth trying to control. It's been a good rivalry here. Hunter and Hillcrest in girls soccer, we mentioned last year, a very similar scenario, but the roles were reversed. It was Hillcrest at Hunter late in the year. A Hunter win could have created a region championship for the Wolverines. They played to a draw, and it was Hillcrest that won the region title as this ball slips through the defense down through, controlled by Alondro Barba Perez. The keep. Thrown in with Fonaroth. Played up the line, but wide as Blanchard couldn't get there and we'll have an early substitution. Kate Timberman has come on for Hillcrest. I think I might have confused Anna Wright with Timmerman once or twice in the early going here. As that was Wright who played near side to Timmerman. Morgan able to find Grammon with some space, now played wide again. Boy, nice move there. I think that's Tammy Tan. As the ball played ahead, no one there for the Huskies and escorted back to Perez. High kick. Nice head by Blanchard. Played out wide for Blanchard. Marked there by Tan. She'll drop it back. Trying to send the ball ahead. 50-50 ball gets through. Timmerman. Played ahead up the line but wide and it'll be a throw in for the Wolverines. Ball in quickly as it's thrown in back with Bailey Spring. You see Spring wearing the captain band today for Hunter. Blanchard got a touch. Just a step in front of Olivia Harding. Ball played ahead, and Lubov's able to corral it. Timmerman. Far side, Tan. Near side. And cleared away. Navarro up ahead. This here's Harding. That ball rolled past Tapia. I think she let it go. And 
now we've got a whistle here. Here's Von Haroth. Far side with Spring. And now Blanchard. Nice job defending there by McQuiston for Hillcrest. That ball blocked down by Timmerman. Now she breaks it up again. A couple nice plays is coming to step up. That time was Tapia, but that ball will roll out. And a whistle there, a little delayed. It'll be right once again. Boy, good kick. McQuiston trying to track it down. McQuiston couldn't keep that in play out off of her. Nice play that time by Navarro. That's one where she's got to be certain if she misses that. It might be Amanda Means. No, excuse me, it was Watson Bucci who had all sorts of space in front of her with no defensive help. But a nice play made by Navarro. Touch ahead now with Miller. And Miller has that taken away. A nice job by Bailey Spring. Timmerman plays it near side. And that one broken up. Nice job by Wetzel standing in front, but couldn't keep it in. Here's Navarro. Still no score here. 15th minute from Hillcrest High School. Hillcrest has to win for a chance at a co-region championship. Of course, that has a lot to do with seedings. The state tournament just over a week away it starts next Tuesday, October 9th. This ball sent ahead, but too long for Blanchard. So it'll be a kick from the six here for Hillcrest. We mentioned the playoffs starting soon. Region 2 will match up with Region 1. That region, a bit of a hot mess right now. A lot of seedings could change between now and the next seven days. That's a nice job there by Fonneroth to keep it alive for Hunter. A wall pass back with Tapia. Tapia closed off by Timmerman, who's been solid on defense today. Centered, but it went right to Soriano for Hillcrest. And playing ahead, that ball is going to be beyond Timmerman. But Timmerman staying with it, nearly had it at midfield, and a whistle here on the challenge from Navarro. Another kick here for Anna Wright from just shy of midfield. This ball headed back. Sent up ahead. Perez coming out. She'll gather. Hunter trying to possess. This is Mayorga. Played ahead, but broken up by the Huskies. Layla Spring. That ball beyond Blanchard and out of play. Thrown in for Soriano. Marked there by Blanchard. Able to fend her off briefly as support from the defense of the Huskies. And that one turned right over. Wetzel plays it back. Nice move there from Fonneroth. That ball played ahead into space. And Wright was able to shield off Blanchard, but ends up going to Wetzel. Back for Blanchard. Blanchard with a shot here, and this is going to be wide. Approaching the midpoint here in our first half. A high hop at midfield. And Ed Hillcrest able to find the possession. Watson Bucci plays back. Here's Schurslicht. 
Quiston tried to play it ahead for, deflected out by the defensive hunter. Thrown in ahead for Miller. And Hunter able to play it out. Another throw in coming up. Had some delay while we were fetching a ball. Now we're back and running. As in our 21st minute. That ball, an opportunity to send it on frame. Just got under it, sent it out of play. McQuiston. Try to play up the line, too much behind that. Jay Perkins has come on for the Wolverines. And my apologies, we had that delay about a minute ago. Olivia Harding came on for Hunter at that time. A couple nice moves there and then, boy, had a twist there. That one did not look good. I think it's Fonneroth. You can see she tried to put a move on and that leg just buckled. A tough injury for uh, Hunter to deal with here. Fonneroth has been fantastic for them all year long. Looking like she'll be okay, hopefully. Back in play here. We'll see a couple of minutes added on at the end of this, this first half, even though we haven't had a goal. There's a foul here. Hillcrest didn't really like that call too much. Hillcrest. Excuse me, that was Hunter. The White Unis, they automatically want to go home team, but my bad. Now here's Hillcrest with it. Played ahead with Miller. Miller, nice move there. Working on Romero, tried to play it outside, broken up by the Wolverines. And it's Hillcrest winning it back at midfield. McQuiston tried to come near side, played it behind. Her teammate, and now it is Hunter with a rush the other way. Shielded off by Watson Bucci. Did a nice job. Hunter to throw in. Mayorga looking up the line with Harding. Harding to center. This one just outside top of the box. Tried to be settled. This one a roller that's going to make its way through. Lubov's able to handle it as we wrap up our 25th minute. Near side with Timmerman. Her pass broken up. A couple of runs could be made. This ball sent wide, trying to track it down as Wetzel. The defense there of Tan is Tan's going to let this roll through. Amanda Means has come on for the Huskies as Morgan Miller will come off here. No crest thrown in, headed up. That ball will find its way through to Means. Playing outside, bit of a run here from McQuiston. McQuiston, number of Hunter defenders back, a nice job there. I think it was, it might have been Layla Spring able to play it out for Hunter. That ball settled by Soriano. Played in the middle of the box, sent out momentarily, means her shot deflected. Help coming, Timmerman. Was unmarked. Nice job closing down. Plays it back to the middle before being cleared out by Tapia. And the Huskies, despite having good possession near the box, couldn't get a shot off. And now it's Hunter coming the other way. Played back out wide. Broken up there by Wright, who's been solid today. That ball played in front of the Wolverine. And now it's Watson Bucci. Boy, a foul there, and then the foul called on Hunter, and the Hunter bench can't believe it. And now I think we've got a... Boy, this is a uh, tough circumstance if you're a Wolverine fan, a player down right now. You can see the frustration there taken out, and Coach Solberg just asking for an explanation. Right. Looking on frame, Amanda Anna Wright. A 34 yard strike for the Huskies and Hillcrest takes a one nil lead in the 30th.
great job by Anna Wright. We mentioned she's taken a lot of the big kicks today for Hillcrest, and that time from 34 yards out, does it all herself, goes top shelf, able to beat Perez. Oh, it was a beautiful Husky goal. Means, able to find that one. Nice job of possession here by Means. Plays it ahead with McQuiston, and that ball played out by Hunter. Hillcrest to throw in. McQuiston, a couple of Wolverines there. And it was Navarro, I think, able to play it out. No, it wasn't Navarro, my apologies. It was Mayorga. Fonerouth just made a nice sprint to the ball, so she appears to be okay. As that ball rolled through. Nice job recovering there. Tapia coming back to possess. Trying to play it around Miller. Nice work as that ball sent ahead, but out of play. Here's Fonneroth. Played that ball with Wetzel. Her pass broken up by Scherslick. Scherslick sticking with it, deflected, and Hunter now to clear. Ball dropped back. Far side with Tan, all sorts of time. Nice pass back to Tan. The centers with Soriano. Has options. Comes to Schurzlicht. Tillerman. Dropped with Slamma Catrone. Good takeaway there from Wetzel. Here's Tapia. Tapia able to play it around Tillerman. Tapia with the brakes. A nutmeg, but no one there and cleared away. Means now with the possession for Hillcrest working against Romero. Tillerman coming up in the support boy. Hard contact there, but I think that's a good 50-50 ball. Hillcrest would have liked a foul. Played ahead. McQuiston in the corner. Able to keep this ball in play. Marked by Spring. And played out by Hillcrest. More substitutions for the Wolverines. Whitney Blanchard back on for Hunter. And Yasel Navarro back on. Remember, Navarro took that hit. Came off, but she is back and rolling for the Wolverines. 35th minute. one nothing Hillcrest as that ball deflected out. A kick coming up for Hunter from the six. Scherzlick plays back with Tan. Time again for Tammy Tan. Looking ahead for McQuiston, but broken up nicely by the Wolverines as Taylor Tries to send one ahead, but too long. Is right able to break it up momentarily. Fonneroth with it. Navarro tried to settle it. Nice job by Scherzlick, who's come all the way back to possess for Hillcrest. Scherzlick again. Middle of the field with Soriano and broken up by Fonneroth. Blanchard. Navarro to Tapia, gives it back to Navarro. Has Blanchard making a run up the near side, instead goes to the middle. Ball there just trickling. Drop back for Fonneroth, the shot is over the crossbar. Means couldn't keep it. it as Cindy Romero trying to work against her and the foul there. Called on Amanda Means. This ball played to Navarro. Navarro looking for service. All right, able to step in front of it. Break it up. Tapia heads back to the middle. Sent ahead by Navarro, nobody there is Lubavs will 
handle it. Drop back, now near side with Timmerman. That ball came out of play. 38 minutes complete, no more time updates here from Hillcrest as another whistle here, the foul on Hillcrest. Tapia on frame, punched but missed, and that ball going to trickle out, and we're going to have a corner for Hunter. Boy, risky play there for Lubovs. Came out to punch it, didn't get it squarely. Enough to deflect, but Hunter still with an opportunity to attack here. Blanchard from the corner. And she touched it twice, yeah. Blanchard had no other choice but to play it again and try to sell it, but our center caught that. And it's Schurzlich with it here at midfield. Tries to play ahead from McQuiston, broken up by Hunter. Bonneroth. Nice contest there from Graman. Is this ball sent ahead by Hunter? Unable to be kept in. Wolverines will have the throw in. Navarro plays back with Tapia. Tapia tries to send one ahead. That ball headed through. Spring giving chase. Nice job by Tan. Hillcrest with a chance to counter. If they can get some support up instead. They give it wide right away as stepping up was Romero for Hunter. And this ball played to the middle with Soriano. And she gave it right over to Fonaroth. Navarro. Nice patience shown here as this ball dropped back with Bailey Spring. Navarro marked, and I think we're going to get a foul here. We are. Ball top of the box. Cleared away by Hillcrest, but Hunter still possessing. Again, they try to get it in the box, and Lubov is able to collect off the bounce. And there's the half. A goal in the 30th minute from Anna Wright has the Huskies leading Hunter one to nothing. You're watching Deseret News Rewind presented by Intermountain Tosh. And welcome back, getting ready to start our second half here. Hunter at Hillcrest. The Wolverines come in with a lead, sitting the top region two. The Huskies trying to pull a co-region championship. This is step one, step two will take place later this week. They've got one more game coming up. They'd have to take business, take care of business in that one. But if uh, they don't get an outright win here, that one is meaningless in terms of seeding in this region. It was Anna Wright who had the goal in the 30th minute, a 34-yard strike off of a free kick. As this ball will drift down, gathered by the keep. Nice job there by Perez. That's a challenge there at midfield. The foul called on the Huskies. Kick here for Hunter. That one handled cleanly by Wright. Coming up was Tan. Now Fonaroth, nice ball ahead for Blanchard. Blanchard played wide, but that was behind Harding. Perkins tried to come up, was couldn't get there in time. As nice challenge there, far side. Nice job able to get around the defender there, but team still trading the possession here. Soriano with it for Hillcrest. Has that one taken away? Here's Harding stepping up into space. Harding tried to get a shot through, 
That ball didn't make it through. Here's Fonneroth. We'll drop it back. Nice pressure by Hunter to start this second half. Touch it ahead. Spring played to the middle. Fonneroth thought about the shot. Mark tightly there. Couldn't get it off. This one sent up but wide and out of play. Nice job defensively by Soriano. Did a beautiful job to prevent prevent Fonneroth from getting that shot off. It'll be right. Watson Bucci plays the ball ahead. Boy, great job playing around it by, I think that's, no, I was gonna say it was right. Instead, it's Morgan Miller. Miller just outside the box, tries to center, and that ball broken up. Still. Couldn't be controlled, and it'll be a corner here for the Huskies. That ball over the keep, it's loose, and that's going to go past the goal line, and it will go to the corner again. Boy, Perez came out. Oh, now we've got a correction. The linesman helping our center, saying it will be a goal kick. As we are now in our 45th minute. Again, we play 80. That ball out of play, Hillcrest to throw in. Morgan Miller will do so. That ball sent up by Mayorga. Soriano tried to play it down. It went right to Olivia Harding. Harding has it here. Boy, Hillcrest, or Hunter's got an opportunity here. That ball played ahead, but Wright was right there, able to punch it down. Harding couldn't keep that possession as it's sure slicked. But had it momentarily for Hillcrest. Sure slicked again. Tan was trying to put a run up the sideline. That ball played ahead to the middle. It's coming up but late there in the call here. And we called on Rachel Workman. A substitution for Hunter. Jay Perkins comes off. Abigail Tapia back on the pitch for Coach Solberg. And the Wolverines. As Hillcrest able to play this ball back up to midfield. Emma Taylor able to get around one. Plays the ball ahead, but nobody there for Hunter is right. Able to just calmly send this ball all the way back down. Got to be careful here because Hannah Clark is running up for Hillcrest. Is Perez will come all the way out to the corner to collect. Space here for Ziona Tapia. That ball dropped and some miscommunication there for Hunter. And it's going to be a throw in here. Our line's been looking for help. The center ruling for Hillcrest. Sure slick. Nearly had it. Nice job there by Romero, able to get her head on it and break it up. As Hunter now able to clear out. Just one man's perspective here, but Hunter's come out of the gate in the first half and second half, had some nice possession, some nice pressure. Hillcrest been able to deal with it. And then really the Huskies have found their way to just settle in. They did so in the first half, and right now you almost get the sense that they're doing the same thing. Here's Sure Slick. Hillcrest throwing in, and that one finds Watson Bucci. And nice job by Hunter, able to defend, and now a late whistle here from our center. That ball headed back up by Tan. Bonneroth had that one taken away. Nice challenge put on by Soriano. Though it's Hunter that finds themselves with the possession. Fonneroth drops it back. That ball went the wrong direction, out of play. Navarro, it will send the ball ahead. Blanchard with it. Boy, she tried to send one up for Harding, was deflected out by Hillcrest. Thrown in for Fonneroth, drops it back with Taylor. Blanchard was able to come back and deflect it. Fonneroth marked by Soriano. 
Play that one just a step beyond Mayorga. But it is Navarro here with the possession for Hunter. Plays to the middle. Harding. Couldn't pull the trigger. Navarro shot is blocked. Hunter still with it. And now a foul going to be called here on the challenge from Hillcrest. This will be from 25 yards out. A free kick coming up for Hunter. 50th minute. Fonneroth a chance for the equalizer for the Wolverines. 25 yards out. Over the wall, over the crossbar. And it might be McQuiston. All of a sudden, Watson Bucci found the ball at her feet. And that one turned over at midfield. Nice job winning it back there by McQuiston. Great touch there from Tappy, able to play it over the defense. This ball trickling to the middle. Fonneroth able to find Wetzel. Wetzel will play it wide with Tapia. Back up for Wetzel, shield it off, and we'll have a throw in here for Hunter. So a throw in here for the Wolverines. Wetzel was trying to possess, played to the corner, but no one there. And Hillcrest will have a kick from the six. Jay Perkins back on for the Wolverines here. Fonneroth was able to step in front of that one. Blanchard played it out. Ball played ahead. Nice job stepping in front of that by Emma Taylor. Tan. Good vision to find Hannah Clark. Clark plays it up for Scherslick. Trying to get around Perkins. Scherslick, that ball couldn't be kept in. Boy, ever so close. But the defensive hunter stands up again. Wetzel was able to get back defensively, help win the possession. Looking ahead for Blanchard. Boy, Blanchard tried to bring that ball down, overran it just a step, slowed up enough to allow Hillcrest to get back defensively. There's Watsabuchi. Now Grammon. And Wright will come near with Tan. Tan tried to play through and a great job there. Well, the spring closed the wickets. Again, a challenge won by Hunter. Can they do anything with it? Fonneroth at midfield. Has Blanchard. Blanchard able to possess. Boy, tried to make a move against Scherslicht and those two trade. And that time, an inadvertent kick to the head as Blanchard went down. Actually had a drop. My apologies. Here's Romero. Played it back with that one too strong. Out of play. End of the 55th minute. That one headed back. Perez coming up, better hustle. A couple of Huskies were trying to make some runs. Here's Blanchard with it, far side. Tapia, middle of the field, space for Tapia. No one stepping up. Tried to play the ball ahead, broken up by Tan momentarily as here's Taylor with it. She'll look up for Spring and that ball out off of Hunter. Thrown up for Clark. Romero came over to shield her off.
Hunter to throw in. That one out off of Hillcrest. Wessel tried to play it back. Couldn't do it, but that ball rolled out, and now we'll have, I think, a foul call. Just a throw here for Hunter. Layla Spring throws in for Fonaroth, and that one cleared out. Thrown in to Mayorga. We'll play it wide. Up for Tapia. Couple of Huskies there marking her. And that ball lost out off of Hillcrest. Cleared away. Tapia played it ahead, but no teammate able to make a play. Is that ball given away in the midfield? Nice job stepping up there by Mayorga, but it is Hillcrest. Here's Tan. Has Clark able to make a run up the near line. If Clark can get there, this ball is going to roll all the way down and out. Tillerman back on for the Huskies. Fonaroth ahead. That time Layla had to come back to the ball, was able to do so, was right able to clear. And now we've got a, a whistle here. This one over the top of everyone. Hunter trying to make a run, and that one easily handled there by Lubovs. Lubovs has had a quiet second half. Hasn't had to do a lot of work today. At least not in the second half she hasn't. Here's Tillerman. We'll play that up with Tan. Nice job by Hunter there. Soriano again will clear it out. Up the line here with Spring. It was marked by McQuiston. McQuiston called for the foul at midfield. Bailey Spring will take this kick. A low one. Wright was able to step in front of. Nice passing here. Here's Fonaroth. And that one sent wide of the net. Amanda Means back on for Watson Bucci for Hillcrest. Meanwhile, Sophie Gardner coming on for Hunter as Whitney Blanchard will get a rest. Sent wide to Tapia. Tillerman came up strong. Tillerman wins it. Means looking up the line. Boy, a foot race, far side, couple runs in the middle of the box. And that one couldn't be centered. Boy, Miller tried. A great job getting back defensively by Hunter. Boy, it looked like the Wolverines were beat. Had sure slick making a run in the middle. But that defensive Hunter able to make a nice play and prevent a shot as this ball handed right over. We've seen that a couple times here in this second half. wonder if that's just exhaustion as a call here against Scherslicht. And the home fans don't like it. She's asking for a bit of an explanation as this ball touched down quickly. Boy, beautiful ball for Fonaroth. And boy, what a play made that time by Brooke Graham. It looked like she might have been beat and just does enough to break that up and prevent a run from Fonaroth. In the corner, that ball able to be sent into the box before being cleared out by Hillcrest defensively. This ball headed into the box. And Wright will have a chance to clear. Boy, nice job throwing on the brakes. Patient was able to play it out, but couldn't connect. 
There's the clear to midfield. This one off the side of the foot of Bailey Spring. Got to be careful as running up that time was Morgan Miller. She was looking for a run of her own. Nice play made by Navarro for Hunter. Able to step around that time was Perkins. Perkins to center. This ball a little behind. Rolls through. Left for Foneroth. This on frame, but able to be dealt with off the bounce. Starting to see some more pressure here from the Wolverines. As in our 65th minute. Very similar to how the first match was played between these two this year. Hillcrest had a goal in the first half. Hunter scored late in the second to equalize. Ended up winning that game in overtime. Can they do it again here on the road? As a whistle here and the delayed foul going to be called on Hunter. Coach Solberg and the Hunter bench. Curious. Anna Wright will put this in play. Settled by means. Boy, great job. And that ball well beyond anyone as it will roll out for a throw in. And now we're going to have a card shown to Amanda Means. Well, I didn't, I didn't quite see that. I'm not quite certain what happened there. This ball back with Miller. And cleared away by Hunter. This ball played into a mass. Boy, right off the chin of Tillerman. We're going to get a stoppage here just to check on Tillerman. That one went right into the jaw. So this ball dropped back in play with Hunter. That ball off target for Blanchard, but it's Foneroth who are trying to play ahead. Cut down by Tan. We've got to be careful here. This ball just lingering. Now Hillcrest able to get it out eventually. Some nice pressure put on by the Wolverines as they'll let that roll out for a Hunter throw in. Things starting to get a little tense here. Blanchard able to take that away from right. Tried to cross it, broken up there by Watson Bucci. Tell you what, we're seeing a lot of real aggressive man on play. You can't wait for the ball to come to you anymore in this match as a foul here going to be called on Hunter. This ball touched down, in play quickly, up with McQuiston. McQuiston to center, couldn't control it. This one deflected high, caught by Perez easily. We'll roll it out with Harding, space. Harding sends it ahead for Blanchard. Reinforcements on the way for Hunter. Blanchard to Foneroth in the middle. Has Tapia. Tapia gives it back. Foneroth, top of the box, and sent it wide, and then a foul coming. And the call from just outside the box. Hunter will have a beautiful opportunity. Tries to chip it up and over and send it above the crossbar. Boy, Hunter's had their opportunities. Haven't been able to capitalize, and it's still 1-0 Hillcrest. This ball sent right to Tapia. Wetzel trying to track it down. Chamberlain there defensively for Hillcrest, but she couldn't possess it. We'll try it again. Tillerman will check in at the next whistle for Hillcrest. Good sign to see that she's okay as this ball sent out again. Service over the heads of everybody. A nice job by McQuiston to play it out for Hillcrest. Foneroth trying to hurry. Thrown in. A nice job there by Soriano. The challenge is the ball trickles ahead to Miller. Here's Tan. Deflected out by Hunter. A couple of nice minutes there for the freshman. Is that ball out of play, out off Hunter? Harding. We'll send that by Holland. Yeah, boy, maybe a missed hand ball. This one shot on frame. Perez there.
Here's Blanchard. Fonaroth. Near side with Spring. Back to Fonaroth. Back to Spring. Spring the shot and right into the chest of Lubavs. Able to catch that cleanly. That ball headed back up by Navarro. Miller. And that ball played out by Bailey Spring for Hunter. Hillcrest possessing. Sure slick. Couldn't get a shot off. That one rolling off the back, and now the whistle coming. Boy, Scherzlick nearly end up being the winner on that one. As it is, it'll be a great opportunity now for Hillcrest. A foul by Romero. Scherzlick. That one off the wall. Tan plays ahead for Scherzlick. In the corner to center, and that one goes behind the goal. Mayorga comes back on for Hunter. In the 75th minute, that kick went right to McQuiston for Hillcrest. Hunter trying to get it out of their own end. Tan played ahead. Fonaroth able to break it up and now clear it up. And a whistle there on the contact. Boy, we're in play quickly. I don't ever recall that one being touched down. Here's Harding. Harding plays ahead of that far side. Centered. Wetzel with a shot. Wetzel just misses. Wright will put this in play. She has the only goal of the match back in the 30th minute. Pair of 18s. Sure slick. Has that one broken up. Nice job there by Navarro. Clark trying to get there. And it's Taylor winning it. Up with Wetzel. Hillcrest right now, you can see the interest on the defensive end as that ball rolls through. Sent ahead by Clark. Perez was able to clear it up. Here's Blanchard. Tan giving chase. Blanchard looking for help. Boy, she just ran out of gas, you could see. Was trying. Fonaroth throwing in. Olivia Harding waiting for that to come. Sure slick was able to close down on it. Contested ball. That one taking all sorts of awkward bounces. And it was Watson Bucci coming away with it as this ball now sent across and over by Hunter out of play. Morgan Miller back on for the Huskies. In our 78th minute. Here's Tan. Ball played ahead of Clark, able to be closed off by Hunter. It'll be a Wolverine throw in. 78 minutes complete, no more time updates in regulation. The Region 2 Championship. And we've got a foul here called on Hillcrest. This ball sent ahead, Lou Bobs will handle it. No opportunity there for the Wolverines. Lou Bobs kick. That one snuck underneath. Spring tried to clear it, but off the side of the foot, and it's Hannah Clark for Hillcrest with the possession. Clark trying to shake off Navarro, and that ball played out by Hillcrest. If you're Hunter, got to move quickly. Haven't had a lot of stoppages here in the second half. Wetzel tries to play it ahead. Wetzel trying to keep this in play. Able to do so. Has Blanchard in the middle. Tries to center. That ball deflected. And then this one off target sent wide. 
in the air. Out off of Hunter. Tan to throw in. That ball out off of Hunter. Tan to throw in, looking to go over the top. And this one given up. Watson Bucci to center, and Perez able to gather. That was McQuiston who was making a run in the box. And that's the final whistle. The Hillcrest Huskies had to get a win. They get it. Behind Anna Wright and her goal coming back in the 30th minute off of a free kick from 34 yards out. The only goal of the match, the winning strike coming from the senior captain. Anna Wright as the Hillcrest Huskies defeat the Hunter Wolverines one to nothing. A fantastic match here. We mentioned one more game left for the Hillcrest Huskies. They have to win that for that region share. Hunter still guaranteed a share of region, so I know they're going to be disappointed in the result, but they still have won their first region championship in school history. The question is whether they'll be the one seed or the two seed. We'll find out later this week with the state playoffs coming up next week. Congratulations to Anna Wright, a fantastic match, our player of the game, as the Hillcrest Huskies defeat Hunter one to nothing. For Bill Francis, my name is Dane Stewart. Thank you, everyone, for joining us here on Deseret News Rewind, presented by Intermountain Tosh.